the Kill TV. Still at the Steelhouse Festival, joined with Andrew and Gareth from Buffalo Summer. Just come off stage. How was that, boys? That seemed awesome up there. Marvellous. Thank you very much. Lovely crowd, lovely day. Happiness. Yeah, it's great. I've uh, got to play got a few new songs from the new album too, so they seem to go down well, so it's all good. I'd say probably, was it about 70% of your set was new material, am I right? Yeah, it was. I think we only played, uh, was there three songs? Three, uh, three two, songs. Two, the, two or three off the last yeah. album and then all new then, like, so it's nice to give the new stuff an air in. Excellent. And obviously you've just literally, was it last week you've this come, week. this week? Yeah. So it was, what was it, Monday, was it, you come out of the studio? Tuesday, was it, I think. Tuesday. Yeah, we got back from the studio on Tuesday. We'd done the album with uh, Barrett Martin producing and... Uh, it was in uh, Monkey Studios in West Wales where we'd done the first album. Uh, so I highly recommend that studio for anyone looking for a studio. And also we have done some stuff in the past at the Boneyard as well, which is a local studio to us. Yeah. Let's check that out as well. Uh, yeah. Where Phil is. Where Phil resides. <laughs> Indeed, yes. And uh, is there any sort of dates now when we can expect this, on Andrew? When it uh, out? We're going to speak to a couple of labels. We're going to get a couple of tracks mixed, send them out, and uh, see what sort of interest we get back. We're speaking to uh, a few people, and um, we just got to do us right for the band, really. And then, you know, but hopefully we can get a label behind us this time, so it sort of kicks on. We can get to that next level from where we were on the last album. So. Uh, you're on about getting to the next level. I mean, the last 12 months have been a pretty much a, a massive roller coaster ride. Would you agree? You've gone from, well, obviously you were you were going to play your last year, but you had to go out on Europe, wasn't it? Yeah, you had to yeah. go around Europe on tour. And was it three weeks, three weekends ago? You just finished a gig with Blum and Black Sabbath. Yeah. Uh, well, it was sort of a last minute show as well. So I think we knew about it was like a week before the show, and we had a phone call. So. That's probably our biggest gig to date, and we were just blown away as well by the response and the, the size of the crowd that came to watch us as we run early too on first. So, yeah, it's been really good. And what was that like, Andrew, playing the British Summertime Festival Hyde Park? Yeah, it was amazing for me. It was more about playing on a bill with Soundgarden rather yeah, than yeah, Sabbath, was, yeah. growing up as a grunge kid. Uh, and I got to see Soundgarden playing Super Unknown all the way through. So, uh, just an amazing day, amazing experience, and uh, got to meet a load of my heroes. Like. Just being a bit of a fanboy, to be honest with you, after we played for the rest of the day, I can't believe it. Uh, but um, yeah, great experience, and it couldn't have gone any better, really. And the vibe out, out on the uh, out on the festival front is you're seeing a lot of Buffalo Summer T-shirts there. I mean, and it's not just you know, it's not just from your hometown. It's people. I mean, it was on Pl Planet Rock the other week. People said they're looking forward to the festival just to see Buffalo Summer. I mean, that must be really humbling to hear that. It is, like, to be honest, with, uh, like, all of the people that do come out and support us, we really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, uh, we're the same four boys that we were four years ago when we started the band. And just to be to be able to, you know, go that much further on, going from playing your local pub and uh, to play a gig with Sabbath and Soundgarden, download last year just been out to Buck with Buck Cherry and Skid Row in Europe. It's, uh, you know, and then to see people in a crowd like today, a lot of Buffalo Summer T-shirts, it's just a dream come true, really. So, How much of an important part would you say that plays on, like you said there, you're still the same four lads. I mean, a lot of people that know you can vouch for that because, I mean, you still play your local your local pub when you, whenever you're home on the weekends. Love you love you love going back to the local pub, which is, which is obviously a free gig for everybody in the area as well. I mean, how, how, how important would you say it is to up-and-coming up bands to actually stay tr true, to keep your feet on the ground, stay true to your roots, would you say? I, th I think it's a must in this day and age. I think it's all about just having the right attitude towards what you're doing, working hard, drinking your milk, <laughs> <laughs> staying in school. No, just, you know, I think if you're from Wales, you've got to be of now. Otherwise, someone will uh, put you on your ass. otherwise. Just work hard and yeah, uh, work enjoy hard. it then. Enjoy well, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like if, you know, if you don't enjoy it, then not by you doing it. <laughs> I'll just quickly grab you to ask, what's the plans for the rest of the year for Buffalo Summer then, Gareth? What's what's coming up in the pipeline? Um, we've got in August, I think it's the last three weekends of August, we've got a tour with um, Phil Campbell from Motorhead. Just, yeah, yeah, so that's uh, just in the UK. Uh, we've got a tour in Oct uh, October. Uh, yeah, we're gonna you can announce it. Uh, time this comes out. Uh, the, tour, the, treat, uh, the treatment in October. I think it's 16 or 17 shows throughout the UK. And then hopefully to the end of the year, the album will be re uh, released. And then all of next year, then hopefully just continue touring even more than we are now. So.
So I, I'm good to say pretty much this, this year sewing up and next year already sewn, sort of sewing up with the album then. Yeah, yeah, just get out there and tour and uh, hopefully get to America at some point next year as well with a bit of luck, you know, we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. Just get, get the right label on board and then see, just see where we go. Excellent stuff. Well, boys, once again, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Always nice to support the local bands. And once again, this is Underkill TV signing out with Andrew and Gareth from Buffalo Summer. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you for having us. All the best. Cheers. Thanks for having us. See you soon. I'm Andrew, I'm Gara, and you are watching Underkill TV, and we're Buffalo Summer.